And welcome back to part two of my spring and summer refresh haul. Let's see what else I picked up. Now, where else did I go? Let me show y'all real quick these shoes I picked up from Nordstrom's Rack. I picked up a pair of sandals. These were $40, guys. They are Franco. I'll flash the name somewhere. But I picked it up in this cute little gold. Can y'all see that? Just a little gold sandal in my size. I paid $39.97 for those. I liked them so much that I picked them up. I picked up a pair in the gold. And I also picked up a pair in the taupe. Yeah, these are so cute. Very comfy. Cannot wait to rock those this summer. And because I was feeling fancy and they had my size. I picked up these two pair of sandals. And these were really, really comfortable. They're from Kenneth Cole Reaction. These were really cute. These were only, oh, those shoes were 39. I think I told y'all the price on these. Look at that. That is just so cute. Yeah. A little exposed toe. Very, very comfortable, guys. This was so comfortable. I liked it so much. I picked it up in the brown. And I also picked it up in the black. And the black has like a little patent leather at the back. The strap has a little patent leather strap. The black heel and the little black, uh, I don't know if it's vegan leather. I don't know if this is leather or not. Upper man-made. So yeah, a little vegan leather. But really, really cute. Again, $30 and yeah. So I picked up two pair of those. So I picked up four pair of shoes out of Nordstrom's yeah, Rack. Another place I went to was Ross. Uh, spring shopping. We are getting ready to redo my bathroom and bedroom. And I saw, saw these pillows in Ross. They were so pretty. Look at those beautiful, vibrant, spring-like colors. I just want to lighten the room up. Guys, these were $22.99. Not expensive at all. And they are really, really good pillow. It's from the Ivy Hill Home. And then as an accent pillow, y'all know I love this little shimmy, shimmy pillow. I have these in my family room. Look at that pretty coral color or like a rust. And it just really matches well with this. So this right here kind of gives you that country vibe, you know, nice open window feel. And then this right here, you throw on this a little bam, a little sexiness in my bedroom. Yeah. So that is just too pretty. So I'm gonna, I hope this works. But when I put it up against the, the comforter I have now in my bedroom, it's really not, I'm not really feeling it. I almost need like a, a pure white. And I don't know if I want to do pure white in my bedroom because we're in our bedroom a lot. So, yeah, so we'll see about that. And again, on that visit to Ross, I spent 38 36 for those three pillows. Not bad, not bad for some nice, good quality pillows. Where else did I go? I went into Gabe's, going real, real fast. And this was pre-Easter. So we were looking for jewelry for Marabella to wear. And I ended up picking this up for myself. Looks like one of the earring is missing off of here. I'll show you that in a minute. Marabella picked her up some sandals. These were so cute. They were only $6. Look at those in a pretty bronze color. So she picked up herself up two pair of sandals. And again, they were only $6.99, no $5.99 for these. So she picked up one pair like that. I thought these were really cute. Look at that in the tan. And y'all know little sandals like this, my girls are, I don't know if they're hard on shoes, but usually little cheap sandals like this, they last for a season, but yeah. That's just too cute. Look at the little shimmy shimmies, guys. That is so cute. Little buckle up sandal. And Marabella picked her up some sunglasses. These were $4. So cute. Little $3.99. You can tell she's good to be a big girl now. Cute little pair of sunglasses. Little cat eyes. Okay. 
And like I said, this is the day we went in here to try to find Mirabella some jewelry to wear. And uh, I bought myself, I think I may have showed y'all these though. Did I show y'all these before? I bought these from Gabe's. I think I showed y'all these. I think so. But yeah, so cute. Very, very adorable. I think I paid uh, five bucks for these. $3.99, four bucks. Yeah, something for me to throw in the car. If I sit on them, I'm not going to cry, you know, but these would be cute just to have in the car. This looks nice with the outfit I had on today. Very sophisticated, you know, a little Jackie O going on, Miss Jackie Onassis. Ombre, you know, black to clear. So cute, like those. Y'all know I like my big sunglasses. And then I found a pair of aviators. I'm not sure if I showed you these or not. I paid $4 for these, but I bought these. And they are just so cute. Yes. Love them, love them, love them. I love the reflecting on that. It's got kind of a blue, purplish thing going on there. But for four bucks, eight bucks on two pair of nice um, sunglasses. Yeah. Not name brand, but just some cute little sunglasses for me to possibly lose or somebody to pick up. And again, we went in there looking for jewelry, y'all. And this is so cute. Mirabella's uh, Easter jewelry we picked up from Gabe's. And look, look at this little cute necklace I bought. Y'all, this was $5. So cute. The color on it is gold, and that's almost like a peach blush color, the stones on it. So that's going to be really pretty to wear. Yeah, I like that. Five bucks. Can't beat it. And it's so cool, you know, having places like Gabe's and all of these discount retailers now. Back in the day, we only had a few. TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Uh, and Ross wasn't even that good back in the day. But, you know, now it has changed. But her little jewelry came from Gabe's, okay? And it was so pretty. Her dress is here. We paired her with the blue. We decided to pick up on the accent blue. And she wore this little necklace, which was perfect for her. Yeah, I don't even think I spent $10 on her jewelry, guys, if that. So she had this little blue necklace on, which was really cute. So all of that blue, can y'all see that? Yeah, all of that blue against that yellow was just adorable. And she had on little blue shoes. We, ac we actually picked her shoes up from DSW. They had a really, really good sale. I didn't bring those down. But she picked her up two pair of shoes. And I think her shoes came from DSW. And I paid $11 for them, y'all. Yep, so cute. Yeah, that was just adorable. That entire little look with her little blue flat, uh, almost like a little ballerina slipper. So, yeah, but isn't it fun having, I said, discount retailers like Gabe's and Ross now? And even, you know, Walmart. I don't shop at Walmart, but I see a lot of you guys going in and picking up jewelry. Um, yeah, but that is just too cute. So, that was her look for her jewelry. And then for me, I ended up going to Nordstrom's and picking up my jewelry. And I like going into Nordstrom's rack, sorry. And sometimes Nordstrom's, you know, you can get good sales there. But this particular day, these were on clearance. These are the earrings that I wore with my dress. And I paired it with this pretty gold jewelry. Okay. Look at that. That is just so pretty. I paired it with that long necklace. Can y'all see that? And that pretty, pretty green and then I had that little gold ring on. And then I wore these little earrings. Okay? So cute. And I think this little ring was like $3 in Nordstrom's Rack. I think this might have been 11 maybe. I think I might have paid 11 for this. And then the earrings might have been like 7 Yeah. But yeah, you can just buy some really, really cute, inexpensive, cost, you know, costume jewelry nowadays from everywhere. Everybody is selling it, okay? And a lot of times it's the same maker. So sometimes you see something in Gabe's, it's being sold in, the, you know, in a department store. So yeah. So what else, guys? Is that it? I think that is it. I know y'all don't want to see what I bought from um, 
big lots. I needed socks, so I picked up some socks. These were for $5. I needed some little loofahs. And I love buying these, and I clean them out of these. I think I picked up 10 packs of these little uh, white cloud. I keep them in the car. Uh, it's getting ready to be summertime. These are a girl's best friend, if you know what I mean. Wink, wink. And I think you do. So, yeah, I keep this at hand all the time for a quick fresh me up. And what else did I buy? Might as well show y'all everything, right? Because I'm going to put all this stuff up. These are the little makeup wipes I like to use. Uh, they are comparable to the, to the ponds. Yep, this is, has 36 wipes in it, and I think they are, I don't remember the price on it. I, I know it wasn't even $3, yeah, so I picked up those. I needed some baking soda. I picked up two of those. And then, y'all, Mirabella is going to, not wanting to have her hair done anymore. Uh, she doesn't want to be straight anymore. So we've been trying out different lines. Uh, this Cantu was in big lots for $5 for each one of these. So I just picked those up. Y'all know that natural hair care products are so expensive. And we're just trying to see what works on her hair best. I don't know anything about the natural hair. So any comments y'all leave pertaining to that, we sure do appreciate it. Because she is knee bent and body bound that she is not getting her hair straight again. And I can respect that wish from her. But well, we're going to have to do something with it. So, yeah, we are doing that now. As a matter of fact, her and her daddy are in the city checking out this natural hair shop today. Yeah, Artie is really a trooper having two girls. Isn't that something? He's actually going to the shop with her. She's not getting it done today, but they are open today. So he took her into the city, and they're going to get a look into the shop and kind of get a feel for it. And possibly we'll be taking her there to get her hair um, trimmed and that kind of stuff. Because I'm used to trimming it when it's straight. You know, I take it to the shop, they blow it out straight, and they trim it. So, yeah, so that's all we've been up to, guys. But thanks so much for watching. I just wanted to show you a good old-fashioned haul. Some stuff I've been picking up for, you know, the last couple of days. And that is it, guys. I will see y'all in another video soon. All right? I don't know what's coming down the line. I do have a weight loss update if you guys are following me on that journey. Yep. Got through Easter, y'all. Uh-huh, y'all got to come back and see what your girl been doing as far as weight loss. All right, guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.